Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Um, as well as uh, I think this will throw up on the camping and survival series uh, because of what the product is and what it's used for or at least one of the many uses it can be used for. And uh, that is this right here uh, and you guys of course know this name Energizer or at least I'm sure you probably do. Um, it is a little headlight. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up and check out the components inside. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, we've got the stuff that's in the box, obviously the light and straps. We even have the batteries that were included. Uh, and then the paperwork. Uh, first one, of course, being the little uh, instruction manual. Uh, the instruction manual tells you the breakdown of it, and it's just on the one side. The back side's blank. Uh, so as you can see right there, it does tell you it's 360 lumens. So it's not like blindingly bright, but when you're in dark situations or dark environments, um, 360 lumens is pretty reasonable. Uh, it tells you the, uh, some of the functions where it's uh, dimmable and uh, has uh, adjustments and whatnot, and even how long roughly it says it should last uh, on the batteries that are here. Uh, there are seven settings, it says, or seven different uh, functions modes uh, and they even have uh, it says two night vision modes uh, it does say that it goes for 85 meters and it is water resistant they use that IPX4 water resistance uh, rating uh, it does have again um, it tells you the lumens the time it has a roughly one meter shock resistance so if you drop it from right around three feet or just above waist height, depending on how tall you are. Uh, it, uh, it, it's, it's supposed to make it so that it's not gonna hurt it. Uh, again, tells you the distance. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just pretty, pretty straightforward. Then it also shows you how to put the batteries in. Uh, now, one thing, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. We've got Energizer Go Rewards. Uh, and they want you to tell them what you think of it. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and probably test this out. You go to this and it's uh, on Amazon. So you go to their Amazon page and this is in, it looks like, uh, yeah, this looks like French on the back. So if you're up in Canada, uh, there you go. Parlez-vous Francais. Uh, there you go. Uh, but in English, uh, tell, it just says to tell them what you think and uh, you can earn some rewards, I guess. Uh, standard, the Energizer AAA batteries. Actually, not the standard, these are the Max. So Energizer Max. So uh, they gave us some pretty decent ones for this. And this wasn't ridiculously expensive, by, by the way. This, even though it's Energizer, it, it was not crazy expensive or anything. Um, it wasn't dirt cheap, but I would rather pay a little bit more and feel like I and think I, or hopefully have gotten quality than to pay less and have to keep on buying it over and over again. Uh, to open it up, you just flip the little lever there, and then of course this is your your uh, your piece that uh, you run the band through, uh, which we'll do in just a second here. But uh, let's get the batteries in it first. Just press that back closed, and it and it fits pretty snugly. And then you snap it down, that holds it closed. And then again, you've got the little uh, adjustment here. So it clicks multiple settings. So let's see, we've got straight 90 degrees from say your forehead. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, five positions. So, and this one, the last one is actually not even 90 degrees. It's actually about 100, and, 100 110 degrees maybe. Um, looks like the fourth position is 90 degrees um, essentially from your forehead so straight down um, basically shining on the tip of your nose pretty much uh, we've got the headband that it comes with and as you can see it has the the loops with the the one uh, ring there that holds it all together but then you have your adjustment here so you can adjust and get it as tight as you need uh, this is nice. This is very, it, it's obviously elastic, but it's actually very soft. Um, very, very kind of smooth slash soft. 
And this isn't that difficult to put in uh, because all you have, you have that little notch opening. You just slide it in a little bit, pull it down, push it up a little, there you go. So same thing for the other side. You just push it in from the side, kind of pull it down a little bit, and then push it up and there. And the nice and what makes that nice is the fact that now we've got that that little bit of padding right there so we're not straight up against the plastic. Now we are going to obviously have a little bit of plastic, but most of it is going to be right here. Uh, so we have that up against our foreheads um, as cloth rather than a hard piece of plastic. Uh, and then you can just slip this on. Obviously, you can also take this if you have something, uh, it doesn't have to be round, but if you had something uh, big and round or something like that, or even not so big, because you can uh, cinch this down, you can put it on there and have this hands-free pointing somewhere else instead of on your forehead so that maybe it's in a better position for you. Uh, now, let's see, we've got uh, two buttons here at the top. Uh, the first one looks like power, so, uh, possible flash warning here guys just so you know um, so let's try this first so we've got power okay so we've got both lights it looks like um, we've got this one here on the left is a little bit brighter than this one here on the right the one on the right has there's little lines on here so it's diffused more but uh, both of them are on uh, let's see does it turn it back off when we do it again yeah so it turns it off so that is just the on off button on the right hand side when this is if this is on your forehead um, so on off so we've got on and then we've got oh there we go we went to the red light and then we've got off some kind of off or something and then red light again uh, looks like it Oh, okay, there's it, there, it has like two kind of sides to it. Obviously, red strobe, and that's on and off for that. So I wonder. Oh, there we go. So these are both on off buttons, but they're also adjustment buttons. You just have to touch them the right way. So uh, the on off button for the white light is on the right hand side here and it has the little circle with the line through it, the one and the zero essentially. Uh, and you press it on, first one looks like it's on high. If you tap it again, and you just tap it like that, it's gonna turn it off. But if you tap it and then tap it again, now it's on like a medium, uh, and then it goes off. And then you've got like a low setting, it seems like, for the other one. So it switches between the two Okay, so those are the three settings. So you got high, medium, and low, and high is both of them, uh, and then medium and low are just kind of switching between the two, I guess, is what it seems like. Uh, then with this other one, we've got it pressed, we've got red, we've got red flashing, then green. There's supposed to be four, I guess, settings for the white, and then with the red and the green, you've got red, red flashing, and the green. So. So this is right. So we've got red, red flashing, and green. So those are, those are what those are. Uh, and then on this one, we've got, let's see, so we've got high, medium, low, and it's only giving me three. So I'm not sure what they're doing there, unless I'm supposed to hold it. And then, oh, there we go. Yeah, if I held it, it dropped that low setting even it's using both but they're real low it uh, it dropped them even lower and I don't know if you guys saw that or not so we'll try it again so we've got high medium so oh there we go we hold it bright there we go there's the settings for it as you can see I'm making it pulsate because I'm holding it but there's your brightness setting. So you sit there and you hold it while it's on both and it will up and down the brightness. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. So now that, now that I understand it, they're not real, real clear as to how that works. They just say that it's there. So could be a little more clear on the uh, instructions there.
But that'll, you know, that'll do it for me today, guys. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. As well as, of course, social media. Uh, there is that uh, PayPal link down there. You guys can help me out, and uh, I can continue to bring things like this to your attention. And uh, also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, there's also that subscribe button and that bell icon. Just ring that bell, and you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Uh, be it the Amazon Review series or any of the other series. Again, this is going to be Amazon Review and Camping and Survival because it's for both. Uh, so I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.